Shopify is a commerce platform. It started off as an online store, and basically the goal of Shopify is to make commerce better pretty much anywhere that commerce happens, whether that's in person or online or on a mobile device. We deploy new software 20 times a day sometimes. After Black Friday, after a code freeze, we deployed 86 times in the same day. Each one of these new deploys can bring new queries. Tracking those new queries without Vivid Cortex could take 24 hours. Could be too late. We could be down for 24 hours until we come with a solution. Real-time monitoring is the only way to keep our wheels running. Uh, we've been using Vivid Cortex for about a year and a half. I largely use it in my role, uh, either helping developers diagnose performance problems or uh, as a result of an alert that we've received. If we're seeing a large number of threads running or if we're seeing slowness on the site, then uh, it's a reactive response for, for me personally. So we use, we use Vivid Cortex for two of our systems. Right now we use it for our MySQL core database infrastructure and for our Redis caching infrastructure. I think the most important thing it gives us at the, at the management level is confidence. Because we can see everything, uh, we have over 500 uh, users uh, on our Vivid Cortex install. Uh, so we recently were able to use a SAML integration with our single sign-on provider, Okta, uh, which is really streamlined, just giving pretty much everyone in the organization who could benefit from access, uh, access to it. So it no longer has to be a tool, it's just for DBAs, it's for all research and development to use. Specifically, one of the things that happened recently, before Black Friday, we rolled out a lot of new Redis capacity and we were seeing uh, spikes uh, in latency uh, and they were actually on a very regular time interval. Uh, one of the other engineers, there was a period where people were concerned that we hadn't provisioned enough capacity that we were seeing these spikes and what the effects would be if one of those spikes coincided with a big flash sale that we get on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Uh, so because Vivid Cortex doesn't rely on talking to the database in order to get the statistics because we're working from packet captures, we could actually see the latency was being introduced uh, by connections, by new connections, and not even by queries that were running. So like the tools that we would have used before Vivid Cortex just would not have had any visibility into what was going on. The per host dashboards are good if you want to see what is ha if there's a particular server causing problems. The faults are good to see. Um, you can go and see, you know, we had a problem at this point in time. You can go and see at that exact period what queries were hitting the database, what was the count, what was the latency. The server monitoring metrics are useful too. You can see swapping or I.O. issues or um, not just MySQL queries, but the actual underlying hardware as well. Favorite features, because of the way that we run uh, in a high availability situation, the particular host that is being used as a writer in a replication chain, or the particular host that's handling, handling a particular shard, or as we call them, pods, where their data at any given time can change. So we actually use the tags uh, for safe queries and for the ability to just you know go and make sure that just because a given database was, the, or a given machine was handling this database last week doesn't mean that it's handling the database this week. So we can use the tags in our queries to make sure that you're getting the up-to-date information of which data you're actually querying. I can go to Vivid Cortex, open the profiler section, list the queries by uh, resources consumed, and show that the seven of the top ten are coming from that particular piece of software that we need to improve. If we do that, we can reduce the cost on hardware to half because you don't need as much RAM or you, or you don't need as many cores. Vivid Cortex enables us to come with facts, proving theories that we have about pieces of software that needs to be improved.